Welcome back to another episode of After Walk. Now, if you're researching for the Sony flagship 50 1.2, this is the video for you. And it's pouring right now. Let's roll the intro. Welcome back to another episode of After Walk. Today, we are going for a photo walk again here in the streets of Kuala Lumpur. But what we're going to do is we'll be featuring the Sony 15mm f1.2 exclusively in this video. So all the photos taken in this video will be done with the 51.2. So let's keep on walking. I've been out here since 3 p.m. It rained, it stopped, people are come back, coming back out to the street. And uh, let's get going and uh, show you guys around my city. When I first purchased the Sony A74, the 50mm f1.2 was the first lens that I bought. It's obvious for me because I need it for work and I dare say that 75% of my shots on a wedding day is done with the 50 1.2. Hi bro, you need gambar you. Look you. Yeah. Yeah. Terima kasih ya. Alright. Now let me try to show you why this is such an important lens to me. Now, the 50mm is a standard focal length in the realm of photography. Standard, which means in a way, it is somewhat of a tally, at the same time, it is of a wide. What do I mean by that? This doesn't make sense, John. But hear me out. It has a characteristic of a tally lens, a portrait lens. People say it is true to the eye. And true enough, it is a nice portrait lens to a lot of photographers out there. At the same time, it is not so tally in a sense that it is wide enough to give context of a location where people are shooting with this lens. And hence, I think this focal length is really great for a lot of my wedding work. And I've used it a lot for my wedding photography. And guess what? It is pretty cool for street photography like this today. The 50mm is a portrait lens. True to the eyes, they say, the 50mm focal length produces some nice straight lines when compared to the distortion made with a wide angle. It's a mid focal length that you don't have to stand too far from the camera to photograph both the environment and the subject for a portrait shoot. Which helps because I can talk to my subject and ask him to look at me. Bro, satu, uh, tengok sini punya. Okay, tengok sini, okay. Over the years of doing after walk, where I do street photos, it really feels like I'm always taking and featuring random people, random places, without really a mean of giving back. And I thought this new workflow of printing out an instant photo as a gift of photography is the least I could do. Laju ah, ini Instax you for you. Nice portrait dah, I like it. Okay. Thank you, uh. thank you for the feature. I also recognize okay. if it's a All gift right. from the heart, it should have gone unannounced, undocumented. But the reactions sometimes are just too great to not share. Kalau you berdua, rapat sikit. So, okay, satu, dua, tiga, rapat sikit. Okay. Bagus. Now this was a random stop at a family mart where these two kids asked me to photograph them. I obliged and I thought it would be a nice feature in terms of like the 50mm lens, nice bouquet, simple portrait and since I've got the Instax, I thought I would be printing out the photos for them. It did took a short time for me to edit and print the photos for the two kids as they exited family mart. Back to their stalls where their mom were manning the Bazaar Ramadan. Which is great because uh, then I'll be able to ask consent to feature the kids in this video. Untuk you, untuk you. Okay. Okay. Now over the past two three years of actually working together with the 15 mm f 1.2 fe Sony lens. The focusing motor is intuitive. 
and fast. And when paired together with the Sony A74, the face detect feels snappy and I have no issues in locking focus when needed. The 50mm f1.2 is relatively a balanced lens in terms of the size and weight. Not the lightest in the category of 50mm, but when attached to the Sony a7 IV, it does look apart. When compared to the rest of the flagship brands offers either from Canon or Nikon, I believe this is actually the smallest of the big three. And like every 50mm in the market, it is built for one focal length and one focal length only. And that hence, all the optics, all the glasses inside is no compromise to any other focal length. So it is sharp. But the only <laughs> compromise is that we have to go forward in order to recompose a shot. That's a compromise. And if you're new to photography, it sounds kind of weird. There are zoom lenses out there that you know you can twist and turn, zoom in and recompose. Why must you be walking forward and backward? Sounds like counterproductive. But trust me, well rather maybe you comment down below and see what other people uh, say in the comments, whether they agree if they actually like the 50mm Prime by itself. It's night time right now. It's the best time to actually check out the 51.2 How it performs in low light condition Well, not necessarily low light right now, ain't it? KL is such a bright city Neon lights everywhere But uh, we see how the 51.2 do, shall we? The glorious F1.2 With a modern day camera like the Sony a7 IV Low light performance, hardly a problem with lenses as fast as the F1.2 This is a shot that when I say compression Now compression is a term where we bring the subject closer to the lens And what is impressive with that shot is barely ISO 200 when I capture it at f1.8 Notice how sharp the promogranate and gradually fades out to a smooth, silky mush And almost dreamy when used as a close-up lens this lens creates some of the most pleasing photograph money can buy. It's definitely up to us photographers in hounding in our composition and storytelling capabilities. Now, the 50mm is a fantastic focal length to invest our sweat and tears photographing in. Some of the most iconic photographs in the world is done with this focal length. And certainly, the Sony 50mm f1.2 FE, a flagship model, the build quality, the usability, the results, it certainly matches its position as a flagship lens for the brand. Thank you for watching me photographing my city. And be like the kids, ask the right question. John Lo, saya punya nama. You got it right, so subscribe. See you guys on the next video.